<laughs> Mary Ellen and I have discussed this many times about, you know, when I told her she's going to run and she ran and, and she became the county executive. So now for her last four years, she's going to be here. Are you all going to do that? Good. You've done a good job. Okay. So I will introduce the county executive of Putnam County, the most Republican county in the state of New York, yeah. our county executive, Mary Ellen. Yes. said all right all right all right and I thought it was like one of the greatest things I uh, this has really been an amazing run for me to be uh, an elected official in the county that I grew up in and I grew up in this county because I was blessed to have two parents who wanted to make their American dream come true here in this county that we all love called Putnam County. I had a wonderful, wonderful childhood family. My sisters, my siblings are here. But past that, um, 30 years ago today, my due date was for my daughter, Hope. And Hope is here somewhere. And um, that's really what, for me, being an elected official is about being uh, a, how important family is. And that's how I've led every single day when I've come up on the third floor, is that I've taken my family, my extended family, the people that I've met, the friends that have become families, and the families that are friends that have made this community, Putnam County, the beautiful place it is. You know, we've spent the last seven years in my administration supporting our seniors, honoring our veterans, fighting the opioid crisis, We've eliminated $40 million worth of debt. We've built two, two really great gateway destinations in this county, and we've done it all together as a team. This is my eighth election since 2010. Four were county executive races in eight years. That's pretty unprecedented and, and, and very interesting to say the least. But I will tell you, this ticket, this year's ticket, the ticket that I ran with, starting with Mark Molinaro, Jimmy O'Donnell, Joe Castellano, Senator Terrence Murphy, Assemblyman Kevin Byrne, uh, Jenny Nasserino, Legislator Jenny Nasserino, Legislator Barbara Scutamara, Councilman from Kent, Chris Ruthen. This was, without a doubt, the finest ticket of individuals I have ever, ever ran with. They are people, they are true, true public servants, true public servants in every sense of the word. And I want to tell the people of Putnam County, you are all in very good hands with the leadership of the, these fine folks and the folks uh, in the community in itself that have joined all of us. I, I'm gonna just close on this. This is my last election, no doubt about it. <laughs> I've enjoyed the ride, it's been a great ride. I'm looking forward to the next four years to finish the things that I've started that we've built as a team. But this is the first election that I've had without the support of my mother and my grandmother, and I know that they've been with me every single step of the way. And I know each and every one of us all stand here today knowing that somewhere there was an angel on our shoulder saying, what you're doing, you're doing for the right reasons, and what you're doing, keep on doing because you have to return the love and the respect that's been given to you. And that's what I carried with me every step of the way for the last 25 years that I've been involved in Putnam County government. I want to thank my chairman of the Republican Party, Mr. Scannavico, for giving me the confidence and the support to do what I need to do to be the leader in the county executive, as a county executive. I want to thank Mr. Chairman Jim Maxwell, who's here somewhere. Jim, where are you? I want to thank the chairman of the Conservative Party, John O'Connor, and all of the party chairs who've supported this fine ticket through 
this last couple of months. Um, we have a lot of work left to do, not only here in Putnam County, but in the great state of New York, but certainly in these great United States. And if there's one thing that I want us all to take away tonight, we are Americans. We should never let hatred and judgment get in the way of the values that we all hold true. The veterans that we served, that we honored, they gave what they gave so that we could all have democracy. And putting all judgment and, and opinion aside, at the end of the day, it's all about family, it's all about God, and it's all about country. Thank you. Dr. Wait, you won. We want to get all the winners up here today. Come on.